There she is. Lego City. Hi everybody, Briquette here showing how to unlock all 21 worker vehicles in Lego City Undercover, the remastered version, which has one vehicle with a new name and one more worker vehicle than the Wii U version. The Epona in the Wii U version was renamed to the Traveler in the remastered version. These are listed in this order in the description underneath the list that's in the video order. I did these in a different order to group them by location, but I still numbered them by this grid. The times of the worker vehicles and some character tokens are in the description. And the slogger was added to the remastered version. Thank you Tyrone Mena and Retro2000 for requesting this video. There are two worker vehicles in Fort Meadows. The first worker vehicle on the grid is the Armadillo, which we get with the Fort Meadows time trial near the pig farm. The armadillo costs 5,000 studs. We get the slicker, <laughs> oil slicker, with the chicken glide up the hill from the train station. And there's a silver statue over there, so you might want to bring some dynamite with you. The slicker costs 5,000 studs. There are three worker vehicles on Apollo Island. The race for the Atlas worker vehicle is right here by the ferry when you first get to Apollo Island. Be careful not to hit the patches of land because it's really hard to recover from that. <laughs> The Atlas costs 3,000 studs. The payload vehicle is in Special Assignment 15 in the room with the mech puzzle. You'll need Rex Fury for this. You can get him at the end of this level while free falling. I made a video on how to get him called 5 Most Useful Collectibles. I'll link it in the description. The payload is in this part of the level. I also made a video of this whole level with all the collectibles, including Rex Fury and the payload worker vehicle. The payload costs 10,000 studs. The Slogger is new in the remastered version and is one of those vehicles that isn't in a mission or a challenge. It's just floating near a super build on Apollo Island. The slogger costs 5,000 studs. There are three worker vehicles in Auburn. Just north of Cherry Tree Hills in Auburn is a call-in point where we get the Trasher worker vehicle. Sorry, it's an emergency.
The Trasher costs 3,000 studs. We get the Dragger <laughs> tow truck from the other call-in point in Auburn by the docks. It doesn't show up on the map until you discover it. Sorry, it's an emergency. <laughs> I thought I'd take a shortcut. I wasn't sure if I could bust through that wall or not. Ah, <laughs> cool. Then I turned left, but there was a bunch of junk I had to cut out. <laughs> you have discovered a super build. There's the call-in point on the map. The dragger costs 1,000 studs. The brawn is from a time trial pretty close to the call-in point we just built. It's right at that boat, but I passed it up. You have discovered a hidden vehicle time trial challenge. Wow, they sure like to make it hard, don't they? <laughs> I thought I'd show this whole race since it's so short, especially when it's sped up. The brawn costs 1,000 studs. There are three worker vehicles in King's Court. The Bristler, worker vehicle number four, is at the call-in point in King's Court. The bristler costs 500 studs. We get Kowalski's shifter from an emergency crash mat in King's Court. If you have the jetpack, you can go to the right here and jetpack up to the crash mat. Be careful you don't overshoot that catapult. Here's where you can jet pack up here. Kowalski Shifter costs 30,000 studs. Wow, it seems like whenever they put someone's name in front, the price goes way up. <laughs> the taxi cab time trial is in the back corner of King's Court, right next to the crash mat that we just built. What's going on? Thank <laughs> you. 
The taxi cab cost 10,000 studs. There are two worker vehicles in Bluebell National Park. The dumper and steadfast worker vehicles are both in Special Assignment 3, Minor Altercation. We'll get the dumper first. You'll need to build these steps or you might be able to jetpack up there. If you have the super color gun red brick, you don't need to go back there. But if you don't, you'll need at least the construction worker disguise and maybe the jetpack. Or you might be able to chicken glide from up higher. I recommend getting the jetpack and the super color gun red brick to make it easier to 100% this game. There's an echo in here. I guess it's because it's in a mine, but it doesn't sound right. Do you guys get an echo in here or is it just a glitch? You can get a shield piece if you put out that fire. The dumper costs 10,000 studs. This is just to show you where the Steadfast is, near the cable car. You might be able to jetpack up there. I don't know. I didn't try it. <laughs> and I probably could have jetpacked over here, too. This is the best! I get to smash rocks, find rare minerals, drive industry forward. Or... That jetpack is awesome. Hmm. The Steadfast costs 1,000 studs. There are three worker vehicles in Paradise Sands. The Traveler is in Paradise Sands at the call-in point. It's called the Epona on the Wii U. Traveler costs 1,000 studs. What is that? The Foundation Worker Vehicle number 8 is in the construction yard in Paradise Sands in Special Assignment 12, High Steel. Show me that you're a real construction worker. Fix the hoist controls over there. <laughs> That was Albert Spindle Router, who sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The foundation costs 5,000 studs. The roller worker vehicle is also in high steel in this part of the level. What's the matter? Can't you bash open a door? <laughs> All right, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> what was it called again? 
The roller costs 3,000 studs. The hazard is at the southern call-in point in Uptown. Sorry, it's an emergency! The studs say go straight, but it's not that way. Stay way over to the right. The hazard costs 1,000 studs. The Indulja worker vehicle number 10 is at the westernmost call-in point in Pagoda. I guess they call it that because the stretch limo is pretty indulgent. <laughs> The Indulja costs 25,000 studs. There are two worker vehicles at Lego City Airport. The Protector Worker Vehicle number 13 is at the call-in point next to the Loop-de-Loop -loop at the Lego City Airport. The Loop-de-Loop -loop is the super build that was on the map. The one for the Protector doesn't show up until we discover it. Like that. The protector costs 10,000 studs. The shifter worker vehicle number 16 is the other one at the airport. We get it from doing the vehicle robber arrest. You can see this whole challenge in my video of all 12 vehicle robbers arrested. I'll link that in the description also. The shifter costs 1,000 studs. The relocator worker vehicle number 14 is downtown in the sewers under the Lego City Bank in Special Assignment 5, Dirty Work. You'll need the construction worker disguise. The relocator worker vehicle token is in the last area of these sewers. Oh, I can almost taste that big old gemstone. The bell pepper emerald is gonna make me a fortune! You know someone that can handle the sale? No need. We're stealing it to order. I've been doing some work for a private buyer, and he wants it real bad. So don't mess up. The last guy who messed up? Oh, man. That was a real shame. What happened? I couldn't justify employing him anymore, so he's sleeping with the fishes now. The relocator cost 20,000 studs. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate, and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time.